this bed right here is our accidental introduction into permaculture. We planted this raised bed. It's pretty far away from our house, so we didn't visit it very often. We didn't really water it or fertilize it or do anything crazy with it. We just planted some things and see how it went. We prepared the soil with compost and topsoil and we mixed it very well. We mulched it very well and we just left it alone. It's kind of in part sun here. It's not in full sun because we have all these trees around here shading it. So we planted it here and let's see how it took off. Right here is some jalapeno peppers. This was a small, probably, I want to say, six inch plant when we first got it. As you can see, they're turning red because, and they're cracking because it's time to take them off. But there's only so many jalapenos you can actually eat at a time. So we have a lot left on here. Whatever's left, we're kind of just letting everything happen naturally. So whatever's left falls off naturally, what happens happens. Some goes back to our soil, some falls on the ground, and the cycle continues. So this bed, on purpose, we really just leave it alone. We also have some mint. See this mint right here? It actually started way over there behind that board and it spread and it spread throughout the bed and now we have it here and we love mint so we don't mind it look at that you always find spiders in here there's such beautiful spider webs can we see this can we i don't think so there's a spider you can kind of see the web glistening there's a spider in the center we like spiders here because we get some um of those stink bugs, you know the ones that eat all your tomatoes and stuff like that. And we have lots of spiders and lizards usually in here protecting it and eating the bugs as they come in. So it's good to have beneficial insects. Right here is oregano. We planted a small plant in here and it took off and it grew like crazy all over the place. And some people will probably think, we let it flower too. So hopefully it'll pop up in other places. Some people wouldn't like that. So if you're not interested in plants that spread, maybe don't let it go to flower. But we actually want it to spread. We want to encourage it. So we let it go to flower and hopefully it'll pop up in other places. We'd rather have oregano and mint and things like that growing as opposed to grass. So we like having edibles around. This right here is a bell pepper plant. Now in here is a whole lot of weeds. We don't really um, do anything about them. Occasionally what we'll do is we'll come in and we'll kind of chop and drop them. So we'll pull them out and then just drop them right there. This bed also is very moist. It hasn't rained in at least, I want to say two weeks. While everything else is dry, this bed is like super moist. So that's also good. And since it's raised and it's in this kind of manner, the water drains out so it never gets too wet but it does retain moisture well. So yeah, we have the orange bell peppers here. We have a combination of deer and our dogs destroying it. Our small dogs, they come over here and they jump up and they pull the pepper out and they break off parts of the trees. They don't get inside the bed, but they're able to break it if it's like hanging off at the side. Like if they were interested in this oregano, they would have destroyed it already, but they're not. So. Yeah, we have bell peppers there, and then here we have snacking peppers, which are my favorite. I love them. They grow as quickly as you pick them. I can pick it today, and then tomorrow I have a whole bunch more orange ones on it. And um, we get a whole bunch of like small peppers, you know, smack snacking bell peppers. Again, we don't do anything at all to this bed. Nothing. We just leave it and let it do what it wants to do. This is our first accidental introduction to permaculture before we even knew what it was. So yeah, I mean, it may not be as manicured and as beautiful as some people would like, but it's functional and it works. So we're excited about this. Lastly in the bed, these tall stalks are from a basil plant that we had that it dies over the winter and then it sets up its seeds throughout the bed. 
So I don't see any right now. There's too many weeds here. I need to take some of them out. There's probably some hiding under there. But um, we let this flower and go to seed. And it actually, this plant started in that basil pot over there. That was a plant that we originally had. We had it in the pot inside this bed. And it went to flower. It flowered, went to seed. The seeds dropped. And then we ended up with these plants. So underneath there, there's probably some more basil in there. I don't want to find out now because I don't have all my gloves and I see a lot of spider webs that I don't want to disturb. And then we have some more mint going over here. We love mint. I drink a lot of teas and we love, love, love peppermint. So yeah, that's it for now.